Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use Word to create custom forms based on existing documents or templates. You simply take a regular document or template as the basis for your form and then enter information that you want to remain unchanging or static. Then insert controls and fields into the form where you would like the user of the form to enter information. This is a convenient way to automate a standard printed form into which you want people to enter information. Using this method, you can create a custom form template that will allow them to simply fill in the blanks in the document. Before creating custom forms in Word, ensure that you have the Developer tab displayed in the ribbon. Then open the document or template that you want to use as the basis for your form. Next, make sure the Developer tab of the ribbon is showing. Here you can take advantage of the controls shown in the Controls button group, where you can insert various types of fields and controls that allow your users to fill in information in the form. Before you insert form controls, create the parts of the document that will remain static or unchanging. For example, if creating a survey form, you may want to create the underlying table into which you will type the questions that respondents will answer. You can then leave space in the document where you plan to insert the text boxes, check boxes, drop downs, and other controls that you want the respondents to use when completing the survey. To insert a control, start by clicking into the position in the document where you want to insert the control. Then click on the type of control to insert from the listing shown in the Controls button group. You can then select the control within the document and set its properties as desired. Note that each type of control has different properties that you can change. You can also add helpful text that assists the users in completing the form. You will learn how to set the properties of several common form controls in the following lessons of this chapter. After adding all of the controls into the form, you can then protect selected elements of the form from being changed. You can also apply protection to the entire form if you prefer. This process will also be covered in a separate lesson in the chapter. Once you have applied any form protection you would like, the only step left is to save the form as a template that you can distribute to other users of Word. To save the document as a template, click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar, or click File and then click Save. If using Word 2013, select a computer choice in the Save As Task pane and then click the Browse button to the right to open the Save As dialog box. Within the Save As dialog box, select either Word Template or Word Macro Enabled Template from the Save As drop-down. Then type a name for the template into the File Name text box and choose where to save the form template. After setting the desired options for your template, click the Save button in the lower right corner of this dialog box to save it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.